that's us. That's an L. That's what we look like. That's what we look like. I'm, my name is Carla. I'm a film kind of person. I do film stuff. This is. Hi, I'm James. I'm a designer and illustrator, kind of. Yeah. Yay. And we are here to share a project. It's a, a children's book that we're working on for um, a daughter of ours. That's her. Her name is Olive, and she's awesome, and she's obsessed with pirates, as you can see, most kids are obsessed with pirates. And she loves books. She sleeps with them like they're stuffed animals. So it was kind of obvious what needed to happen, pirates, books. Oh, sorry. I'm really tall. I blew it. Um, so, so yeah, there's, there's more pictures of her. Um, so we decided that uh, about a year ago that we needed to make a book of pirates for her, like silly pirates. Uh, they kind of shared her interests, like balloons, confetti, um, the moon, pretty much anything that like really young kids are obsessed with. And this is what we came up with. Yeah, Unfamous Pirates from R to Z is a picture book, an ABC picture book of lesser known pirates that time forgot. Uh, even though our pirates are like more obscure than like Blackbeard or Long John Silver, um, they're supposed to represent all the fun things about being a kid that adults like us may have forgotten. So for Tone, we kind of took uh, a lot of inspiration from Shel Silverstein books because um, he didn't talk down to kids, which was kind of awesome when you were a kid. You felt like you were getting away with something. And um, he had a really like humorous dark side, but then a really great sentimental side, and there was an awesome harmony in that. So we, we really liked that and tried to strive for that. So this is like the inside of my head. Um, <laughs> I conceptually was inspired to create from all the kind of character types that I love from film. Um, sympathetic villain protagonists, Heisenberg, uh, characters on the fringes of society, unsung heroes slash underdogs, and sinister things made silly. Those are like my favorites. For the illustrations, I uh, took a bunch of inspiration from uh, mid-century cartoons, specifically Hanna-Barbera cartoons like Rocky and Bullwinkle, The Jetsons, and uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And I wanted each pirate to look like they could be animated. That's what those cartoons look like, by the way. Oh, yeah, this is me again. Uh, and so I wanted each pirate also to be monochromatic. And so uh, even though the pirate sketches were done on a tablet for convenience sake, I uh, scanned in like a bunch of watercolor paintings that we did for texture and color. So uh, now we're going to read some of these pirate poems that we did uh, for you guys. So uh, if you could just gather around on this carpet and sit, <laughs> sit cross-legged, um, we'll, we'll read to you like this grandpa here. And maybe a pirate voice. I might attempt one. Awfully. If you don't know what me name is, it's because I be unfamous. Unfamous, not infamous. And by the way, it's Amos. Here listed alphabetically, that is to say, from R to Z, are other husbands of the sea, but none as unfamous as me. No, not Seamus, it's Amos. So, that's our narrator. <laughs> this clever pirate got his name when other beards put his to shame. He stole the suds for swab and deck and put them on his chin and neck. Now when they hear his dreaded pop, the sailors feel their stomachs drop. For no one on the sea is feared like crazy Captain Bubblebeard. Captain Confetti's average fray was blast kapow and then hooray! You see, instead of lead, he chose to fire paper at his foes. His ship, the SS Glitterfight, shot cannons off both day and night. He'd blast those cannons in the air and shake the bits out of his hair till those he fired upon were one and joined his crew to have some fun. Percy was the oddest man to sail the seven seas. He wouldn't munch on anything other than canned peas. Percy would get awful mean if served up something else. He ate peas till his skin turned green. Then he ate himself. <laughs> Shipmaster Silly Hat was mad. He tried on every hat he had, and some things that weren't even hats, a glove, a chalice, and his cat. But nothing ever seemed to fit. He flipped his lid because of it and disappeared clean off the map. For what's a captain without his cap? This tiny pirate's name was We. There was no smaller on the sea. When having fun or playing games, We always liked to shout his name. He turned the plank into a slide, which tragically was how he died. 
but kids still shout his name today whenever they have fun and play. Thanks. This be the tale of Yummy Bones, who pillaged ships of ice cream cones. To keep safe all the loot he scored, he locked himself up with his hoard. And now he steers a ghostly fleet, for he was drowned in melted sweets. Ice cream doesn't keep for long, so eat yours now before it's gone. Oh, that's me. <laughs> uh, so our manuscript is done. The illustrations are about 70% yeah. there. And as we put the final touches on some of the backgrounds, we decided to share some of them with online audiences. So we have a web set up with a few of the pirates. And we've had a pretty decent response so far, right? Yeah. Um, in our launch week, we were featured on uh, Under Considerations Quipsologies. That's the one on the left there. And then um, we were featured on designworklife.com. Um, we were pretty stoked about those and then um, a few others. And then we uh, got a Twitter shout out from one of the founders of International Talk Like a Pirate Day, uh, Captain Slappy. So. Score. That was cool. Oh, that question mark is like, I don't know what we're going to do with this book because it was kind of for our kid. But, uh, <laughs> you know, um, it would be really cool to kind of, you know, see if other people like it. So. And we had really fun, a fun time working on it. And we learned a lot about pirates in the process. So that's our website. And I don't know, anything else? That's our Twitter. I don't know if you guys know what that is down there. That's a Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you guys want to follow us and be our friends on social networks, uh, we would love that because you guys look friendly. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much. Uh,